Taurus, welcome. Doing your heart spreads for the first half of December 2021. The heart spread read reads the one that's on your mind and in your heart. I do eight cards. The uh, first two cards are you and your person. I look at the like, first house for you and your seventh house. And keep in mind about uh, all the astrology. You don't always think Sun, Moon, Rocks, and Venus even for how you listen to the readings. Uh, I do uh, two signs each day, starting on Monday, Aries Taurus Day, and then, um, so all, all the Zodiac every week, so. And pre-shuffled, so let's see what you're doing here, guys. Page of Cups, and this page is going into the reading, so um, this is where you're at, your mind, your heart, and around relationships right now, so you're emotional. Uh, this, this is actually a great energy to go into the relationship with. It's kind of how I look at it. Like, I want to get a baseline of sort of just where you are at and yourself around relationships. Um, and the pages are sincere. Um, you're emotionally open. Um, you might be the one initiating with someone saying, and this could be anything from, you know, hey, I'd like to take you out. or am interested in you to, I love you with the page of cups, you know. Um, let's see. Judgment. So your person, where they're at in terms of love relationship, and they're in a major con energy of the hands of destiny. They're particularly maybe pulled by outside forces that are bigger than themselves right now. Um, so that's an interesting energy to be in, especially compared to where you're at. Um, there's a kind of purity and simplicity, and, and simplicity in the best way, uh, to this Page of Cups. And um, with your person here, uh, it, you know, it, it fits judgment. I mean, in the end of the week here, we're going to have this new moon in Sagittarius, the eclipse. 12 degrees Sag, you know, I'm a big Sag, four plants in Sag, so it's getting, it's on me. Um, and they might be in the process of like being called up, like to their, what you could maybe be called, called up to your destiny calling, you know, called up to your soul's purpose. It's usually something a little intimidating, something, you know, that's about something bigger than us and our ego gratification, the, you know, the minor arcana ins and outs here. Um, and this could even be why you're approaching them, Taurus. Maybe uh, you admire that. There's a, whenever I see the page here in this position of where you're at, either you are younger than them or somehow you feel lesser than them, smaller than them. You might put them on a pedestal, look up to them in some way, Taurus. Ten of Wands. Wow. And this is how you're feeling uh, in regards to them. When you're uh, thinking about them, how you're feeling about them. This is what I'm trying to pick up here with this card. And a ten of wands, looking back, right back at you. I think you're feeling overwhelmed. Yeah, I'm going to clarify that. Seven, nine, nine of wands, wow. Look at that. It's, uh, I clarify with the nine of wands, so it's like you're overwhelmed. Yeah, look at that. You 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 got You you can't even hold the burden up. You still got to take a knee, and take a time out. You know, um, I I coming in with judgment. This is complex reading. I'm just gonna clarify the judgment. Uh, well, not with the bottom. Okay, Knight of Cups clarifying judgment, and that knight is moving away from the reading. So. Literally, I think your person is actually also a way to look at they're getting karma regarding a water sign um, that they were dealing with in the past, or they could be the water sign. Um, now, by that, I don't mean anybody's, you know, hurting anyone or possibly anyone's hurting at all. Possibly it's good karma. Uh, but it's it's not a really great, uh, sorry, I'm about pain in my leg. It's not a really great energy, you know, to have for you in a relationship. Um, and with these wands the way they are, I think they're kind of putting you off, but they may be doing it in a way that makes, that's why you're showing up as the Page of Cups. I mean, you're not younger, but they're doing it in a way that is demeaning or demoralizing 
are putting you off in a way that somehow makes you feel small, uh, which is not a good feeling, okay? Um, yeah, and then in terms of the relationship, Four of Pentacles, so they're not giving you a lot. You look when you're when you got those pinnacles all in your arms, you can't even hug anyone. You can't build anything, can't create anything. Your arms full. So they're withholding energy, and um, I'm not saying it's selfish. It's just um, it's not the kind of energy you typically. This shows how they're feeling about you. So it's not very forthcoming energy. Uh, so remember, you come in as a page wanting to give your cup. And, you know, right now, I'm just thinking this may not be the person you're going to be giving it to. Oh, the advice from spirit. This is not about being married. The hair font here is your card. Okay? So this is all about you. Uh, this is telling you to put this into higher perspective. And I'm really looking at it. If we get to Ten of Wands for a minute, coming under the Nine of Wands, doesn't it make sense now? Just look at that. And how does that feel? You know, when we're down on a knee, what are we doing? We're praying. That's what we're doing. Uh, we're praying. And so this is really could be just relying on your religious nature, on your religious or spiritual practices, something real, something solid. I was just praying before I did this reading, you know. Um, so this kind of thing. This is the advice from spirit. So it's very important. So uh, because it's, it, it's kind of like your guides and spirits trying to reach out to you. You're down on one knee and they want to help you. They want to give you a hug. You know, they want you to see that something there's something real there that supports you I kind of don't even know if this is about your person let's see and then their advice is the knight of swords um, I think the reason your person's getting this knight of swords as advice is they need to be very um, open and honest with you and direct um, and it's probably not exactly what you want. I mean, you might already feel like, what? I've kind of got enough open and honest and direct. Um, but um, this is a cross from the hair font. Um, so this could be some kind of karmic, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, speed bump relationship. Uh, Sometimes something comes in and it, it just makes an adjustment somehow. Um, like you may have been walking around with your cup in hand, wanting to give your cup of love, um, Taurus. You know, and what you're being shown here is, you know, don't settle and realize that, you know, not everyone's going to be the one for you. And, you know, I, I got to think it's corny, but with the hair font too, this is in the advice position. This could be really trying to say, rejection is God's protection rejection spirits protection that's maybe look at it that way because you're feeling rejected here with these ones it's like like you got to be saying I did everything I could do I did I can't even think of what else to do I knocked myself out like that Wow and here in the crux of the heart spread in the core we have the Seven of Pentacles. Um, discernment. So between this uh, and the core here, I think this is the most important card in the read. This is the advice normally for the relationship as a whole. I believe it's advice for you because I really don't see a relationship here. And then it shifts to, all the advice shifts to advice for you. Um, and really, even the King of Swords, as advice for your person, how to interact with you, could be said to be advice uh, for you to, if they're not forthcoming, then for you to be forthcoming and sort of, uh, you know, make very, you, uh, the King of Swords can make a boundary, can make an ultimatum, um, that kind of thing. And the Seven of Pentacles is taking a hard, realistic look at things. It's, uh, you know, the Page of Cups maybe could be a little naive. Maybe it could be a little lost in their feelings. Maybe it could be a, a little into the Neptunian rosy-colored glasses. And it's uh, so maybe this whole experience is kind of like a spiritual slap in the face for you. And it gets you more practical, you know. So maybe now as you go into relationships, uh, 
you're going to be a little seasoned and a little more like mercenary and realistic. It may not sound really yummy, um, but it also could be a little more grounded too with Seven of Pentacles. I think it's a combination of both, you know. If we just go around all, you know, uh, uh, fluff, that's not going to get anywhere, but, you know, we don't want to make just a hard table. <laughs> you know, it's a combination. So let's see what we get for the outcome here, guys. Wow, four swords. Oh, that doesn't surprise me. So a period of healing is going to be needed, you know. Um, I think for you, again, this is your reading now. I don't even know that, that they're going to need a period of healing. So, um, you know, four weeks, four months, something like this coming up, guys. Um, out of this and I think it's kind of you have that four swords over uh, seven of Pentacles You know, that's like during this time Really be kind of focusing on the practical aspects of all this, you know um, What was going on kind of ground yourself, you know when you're looking back swords are looking back to thoughts so As you're looking back, you know, uh, keep it kind of keep it real. Let's say it like that. It's cut spirit saying keep it real Keep it real and heal. I like it. So thank you guys. Uh, do give me a like, a thumbs up, um, share, tell a friend, tell a friend. If you haven't subscribed, uh, please feel free to subscribe and hit that bell. Thank you guys.